in this transition period of transitioning to phase two of the bull, but there are some concerns that I'm going to discuss Hello everyone, today our special guest Steve Courtney reveals the real reason why Bitcoin surged to $35,000, not the BS been spread by the mainstream and social media. An eye-opening video filled with historical charts and data. If you're as excited about exploring the fascinating world of cryptocurrencies as we are, hit that subscribe button now. Don't miss out on our insightful discussions, market updates, and game-changing insights that could potentially shape your financial future. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you find our content valuable. Your support fuels our passion to keep delivering top-notch videos. And hey, why not spread the knowledge? Share our videos with your crypto-curious friends, family, and fellow enthusiasts. We're on the weekly chart, Bitcoin US dollar index, and we had a stochastic RSI cross back on September 11th. We covered it right here on this channel. These stochastic RSI crosses historically happen about every six months. And about every six months, this puts momentum into the market. We covered it here on September 11th when we discussed the short-term trader, the medium-term trader, and the long-term trader mindset. We talked about short-term traders would have taken this trade. They would have invested in Bitcoin right at around $24,000, $25,000 because of this stochastic RSI cross. And there was one thing and one thing only that these short-term traders or swing traders were looking at. It's this pivot high in the RSI. And we simply said, if we get higher than this pivot high in the RSI, we reverse trend. It's very, very simple. We had been in a downtrend for literally six months in the RSI. These are just pure cold hard facts. These are not my emotional opinions. It's right in front of you. This went higher than this pivot high. It reversed this trend from six months at the same time by having a lot of momentum come into the market. Now, keep in mind, if you were a swing trader, as I've told you many, many times, swing trading is not the right speed or time to, to really lock in profits in crypto. You should never be a swing trader. The reason is if you entered this trade and you were waiting for that one thing and one thing only, it came 42 days later. As a swing trader, you're in a trade for a week to three weeks max, and you're in and out of trades, which you miss out on tons of profit in this space. I've told you repeatedly, you should not be a swing trader. Case in point, right in front of you, you would have missed out on this enormous gain. Otherwise, you're not a swing trader. You're a medium term trader or what I like to call a hybrid trader. My courses teach hybrid trader, which is in between swing trader and long term. Some people think long term investing is too boring. Swing trader do, does not capture the profits in crypto. So reason number one, stochastic RSI. Reason number two, we got above this pivot high in reverse trend. Now the next one, about eight months ago, we made one distinct rule. How do you know when Bitcoin gets out of phase one of the bull. The rule was simple, the trader's dynamic index. We had to get this red line above the orange line. Look at what we just did. We've been waiting for this for six or eight months and it's right in front of us. We made a cold hard rule at the very beginning of all of this year. If this red line gets above this orange line, we enter phase two of the bull. Now keep in mind, this chart hasn't closed yet. It will close at the end of the month in a handful of days. And I will be doing a specific video on this chart and some concerns with this chart on Friday. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. The next reason we talked about on this channel is the stochastic RSI on the two week chart, right? We haven't had a cross since 2022. And the one before that was in 2020. And the one before that was in 2019. They don't happen very often. And we covered it right here in this channel. We said, look, look at the facts. When we had this two week cross back in 2015, 200% gain. 2016, 2000% gain. 2019, stochastic RSI cross on the two week, 300% gain. 2020, 800% gain. 2022, 75% gain. We covered it right here on this channel. So not only did we have a one week stochastic RSI cross, which is momentum coming in the market, a two week, which is very rare 
and it happens less than once per year. Clearly, the facts are right in front of you. This is not emotional opinions. These are just bona fide facts. The next reason, which we covered right here on this channel, on the two-day chart, the RSI was in a downtrend for the entire calendar year. We had resistance in January, resistance in March, resistance in June, resistance in July, September, October, and we just broke through back on October 17th, October 18th. So did the ETF cause this? No, these are facts in the charts. The news will get you in big trouble. Trust me, I started investing back when I was 16 years old and I had my head in the news and I got beat over the head year after year because I was focused on the news. I thought the news led the charts, but the charts lead the news. Talk to anybody who's been investing for more than a decade, they will tell you the same. Do not pay attention to the news. Those people have no idea what they're talking about and they're just making glorified articles to get you to click and it's all hopium. It's all, it's ridiculous, right? The facts are in the charts, always and forever. Now we get to the next one. We have this system, which we've discussed. Back last year, we said that 2023 was gonna be the start of the bull run for Bitcoin, and we were going to enter phase one of the bull. Everybody laughed, about 80% of the people said, Steve, you're crazy, there's no way. All the world's top economists are saying 2023 will be a bloodbath. Well, guess what? 2023 had the best start of the year to the stock market in 40 years. The facts are in the charts. They laughed when we said that we would have a mega crash at 48K. They laughed when we called double bottom, and they laughed that we said we would be entering phase one of the bull. Now, here we are almost 200 days later, people are like, oh, the bull run started. You're 200 days late. We talked about this even last year, how this was going to happen. This was all in the charts. It's all factual in the charts. We have non-emotional, our words are not paid for. I don't take paid ads. I don't take money to promote crap coins. We have no affiliate links down below. We're not paid. I can count on one hand how many humans on earth do YouTube in crypto and do what I do. Don't take paid ads. You can count on one hand. These are the facts in the charts. We had 196 days of sideways action in phase one of the bull. I told you back here when we were at 31,200 days ago, I said, it's not likely that we get above 31K. We're gonna go sideways for at least 100 days. And it's probably gonna be similar to the other ones that we had. And we had one rule. When Bitcoin gets above here on the Traders Dynamic Index, that's a sign that we're gonna enter phase two of the bull. So we made these clear cut rules and we follow them with precision because we're level-headed and we focus on the facts. So here we are, we just broke out here. 196 days, is this a coincidence that this 2016 went sideways for precisely 196 days and that 2012 went sideways for basically the same amount of time? This is not coincidence. This is not coincidence. These are systematic cycles that Bitcoin moves through time after time after time. Bitcoin hype, pushed it, the ETF hype pushed Bitcoin over 35,000. That's what they're feeding everybody. These articles are all over the internet right now. And everybody from the outside is looking in like, oh, the ETF. For those who have been in crypto for years, you already know back in 2017, the ETF hype was alive. And people were saying, oh, the ETF hype is what's going to save Bitcoin from this downfall. And then in 2019, oh, the ETF hype, oh, the ETF hype. There was no ETF. There was just a whole bunch of news articles to get clicks and views. Same thing happened in 2021. Oh, the ETF hype is going to push us over 100K, 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 100K. 100K. No, do not pay attention to the news. The ETF news has been for years and years and years. It's the same articles with the same hype and the same, oh, this is about to be approved and this will push Bitcoin here. It's all the same. If you're relatively new to crypto, go back. The internet is real and it keeps receipts. Go back and look at all these years where there was the same exact 
articles written on the ETF hype. But what remains the same are the facts and the charts. All these systematic moves that Bitcoin does in every single cycle, they're on point. One thing I want to point out, yes, we had this move above. Yes, it hasn't closed yet. Yes, our monthly chart with the Traders Dynamic Index hasn't closed yet. But what also is interesting is where we are at with the RSI. The RSI is currently at resistance at 70, which happens to be one of the most important areas in Bitcoin. And also, the facts and the charts are saying we had some resistance at that exact level back in April. And then we had some exact resistance here back in 2021 at our market cycle high. And right before that resistance here and even back in 2020 resistance at that level, even back in 2019 resistance at that level. This is a pretty critical level and we haven't been above here since our market cycle top. This was our market cycle top. This was the double tap. A lot of people will say, oh, Steve, this is the market cycle top. No, no, no. If you study study charts, this is the top. There's no denying it. These are just pure cold hard facts. You can study it from any angle you want. Just like this was the bottom, this was the double bottom. You can study it from any angle you want. 80 to 85% of the world was against me when we called bottom double bottom, but now you can't deny it because it was debatable in the moment. Everybody was saying, hey, 10K, 8K, 7K, 6K, 5K. Where are those people now? Where did they go? Because they were everywhere in the comments. Now they've disappeared. Where are they? What are they doing? Are they still waiting for 5K and 4K and 6K? Are they still waiting? Really? Man, those people, we have to help them. They need help. The facts are in the chart. We were in phase one of the bull for 196 days, and we're in this transition period of transitioning to phase two of the bull. But there are some concerns that I'm going to discuss on Friday. But these are the facts in the charts. Watch this level. Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Steve Courtney. If you enjoy this highlight video, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.